Here at home, the number of people seeking gun permits in Connecticut is now on the rise. Many towns are reporting an increase in the number of application requests they are currently receiving. Details from News 8's Jackie Slater. In 2011, 162,000 pistol permits were issued here in Connecticut. That number rose to 179,000 in 2012. Police departments throughout the state are slammed with applications in the aftermath of the tragedy at Sandy Hook. I think things are going to get a little bit tighter for people to own guns now, and I would like to go ahead and get in the process now and hopefully uh, get in under any new laws that might be passed. Brantford police have had 31 requests for pistol permits in the last 14 days. That's double the usual amount. You know, there are millions and millions of Americans who, who legally own weapons in America. And our, and our job is to enforce a constitution, and it's a constitutional right. Officials say it's their job to make sure gun ownership is taken seriously. If you're thinking about getting your permit, you should know it's not a spur-of-the-moment decision. It starts with an application, is a lengthy process, and costs hundreds of dollars. Applicants local? must be fingerprinted on both the state and federal levels, take a firearm safety course, and go through a thorough background check. Brantford police say they get 800 calls a year for people suspected of mental illness. They say those reports are taken seriously. Those incidents are documented, so, you know, part of our suitability background investigation is a local records check to determine, um, you know, to determine how many times we may have interacted with that citizen here in Brantford. The permit process used to take about eight weeks. Now those wait times are on the rise. Because of the influx in applications and the backlog with the FBI, um, it, it's probably gone up to probably more like 10 to 12 weeks for uh, an application process. It's a wait future gun owners say is worth it. Um, for me, it's, it's more about home protection. Um, and as a military, I really believe the Second Amendment is to, to take care of us against the government. In Brantford, Jackie Slater, News 8.